bells ring it, diamonds bling it, carols sing it, favorite season. Um, welcome, 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 A1 Day Ones, welcome, newbies, what's up? Hope you subscribe. Uh, it's getting late, so I'm going through my intro really, really fast because I'm ready to eat. And I waited to cook for you all. Okay, so I got the salmon pinwheels, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to preheat my pan, my skillet. This is the skillet I will be using. Doing it on five. <laughs> Doing it on five. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna make pinwheels with that um, zucchini pasta. Um, so yeah, this one is going to probably be a voiceover. I'm just show y'all step by step what I do, how long I fry it for, and things of that nature. And I hope y'all enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll do my song at the end. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm about to wash my hands because I just touched my hair so I can get started. See ya. So here are the seasonings that I used. Um, I did not get two ingredients in there. Um, of course the butter, I didn't put my heavy whipping cream in this screen as well as my other Philadelphia cream cheese, but I'll show that one so later. So of course you want to make sure you're seasoning your, um, salmon with the seasonings that I left on both of the sides. You want to flip it over and do the other side. going to be of course adding your butter into the skillet a little bit of it putting your salmon in there and frying both sides for about a minute to two minutes you just want to get a crispy um, outside on them this is an optional step I just like to do this because I like crispy um, outsides <laughs> if that makes sense Next, you're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. So don't clean out that skillet you made your salmon in. Keep it in the same thing and go ahead and add your cream cheese in, into the to about container three. to make your sauce. This is cooking a little bit too fast for me. Oh, shoot. I got this because I saw I'm going to slay your bae do this before. So I'm going to put this in here. Even though I kind of seasoned it similarly. I should have probably got a one that had tomato After or something. After that or, little bit melts down, you're going to add like some heavy whipping cream <laughs> into that mixture. Then I'm showing y'all my zucchini pasta. All you needed for... Well, all you needed for this was a little bit of water and put it on five and let it just cook over there by itself. All right, my plating might not be the best, but I promise you all this was so good. The zucchini pasta was so fresh. Please try it. <laughs> 